The Israeli army is worried over an increase in the number of soldiers taking their own lives. The number doubled last year. Our Middle East correspondent Paul Aslia examines why. You think about it and then you think about it again and then suddenly you find yourself on, on top of a high bridge or you find yourself with a gun in your hand. Yossi's son, Draw, chose his IDF weapon to end the pain. He turned it on himself just one month before his conscription ended. The army says that the suicide is not connected to the fighting, to the battles. But definitely, shaking a person will bring up things that he had hidden from before. Draw was a medic assigned to a combat unit near Gaza. One night, under the cover of darkness, he suddenly started yelling and threw his weapon to the floor. His commander abandoned the mission, but left Draw with his gun. His father blames the IDF for his son's suicide. If there was enough reason for his commander to take his gun away and tell him, you're not fit for action because of your behavior, why didn't he go the extra yard and also give me your gun and don't go with us to the next action and also please step into the psychologist's office and have an interview with him to see what's happened. Afshalom is another grieving father. In his Tel Aviv apartment, there are no photographs of his son, Ran, who was in the army for only a few weeks before he took his life. His father says the signs were there, but too painful to acknowledge. He was very, very uh, tired. When he came back every day from the military, he fell on his bed and slept for five, six hours. Then at six o'clock in the morning, went back to the military. Only three months before, he was a healthy young boy with dreams and full of life. And all of a sudden, the, everything changed. According to IDF figures, between 15 and 30 soldiers commit suicide each year. More than is lost to operational activity, accidents or illness. This 24-hour hotline was set up 40 years ago for soldiers. They receive on average 450 calls a day. Not everyone is contemplating suicide, but a lot are struggling with army life. Someone who experienced a um, traumatic um, event, traumatic scene, someone who were in a situation where his life were in danger, he might be in a danger of uh, committing suicide for sure. Within the army, they have access to the weapon. The army says it's trying to end suicides through internal investigations and involving mental health professionals. But families say it's not enough. What is alarming about these stories is that the IDF is touted as one of the most efficient armies in the world, well equipped and strongly motivated. But the suicides among its ranks suggest that far from the battlefield outside, some recruits are fighting a battle of their own within. Paulus Lear, RT, Tel Aviv. Online for you, embarrassment for a British minister.